Hi everyone. I would like to use the sandwich method to evaluate Meta's speech, Project 9, Pursuit in Power. First, I will share with you guys what she did well, two things that she did well and why, why it worked so well. Then after that, I will go on to identifying two areas for improvement and giving some suggestions for her next speech. And lastly, I will go on to tell you guys one thing I will never forget about her speech. So, first of all, what I like about her speech, she has a very clear objective. She made it very clear at the beginning of her speech after she asked a simple question. And what's her objective? To proceed all the guests here, the nine guests here today, to join TM, to join Toastmasters. And the, one of the, the objectives of P9 is to appeal to the audience's interest. So obviously this objective of her speech has appealed to all the guests here, right? Yes. Not just the guests, the members as well, because they re she reinforced our love for TM. Secondly, um, she was very sincere and genuine in her speech, right? Yes. How do I tell? Look at her. She's smiling so broadly now. Even during her speech just now, she was very lively and her body gestures, body movement, hand gestures, she was jumping here and there, bouncing here and there. And throughout the speech, she was smiling very brightly. It shows her love for TM and why she has chosen this topic tonight. But let me go on to the two areas for improvement. The first one. At the beginning of her speech, you gave an opening question. What do you ask? You ask, how many here? How many of you here are guests? Then, uh, more than ten people raise up their hand. Then yeah. you go on. You say, no, 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 not guests. Uh, external, not counted. Then you go on to waste a few more seconds trying to explain your question. What you could do, and you exceeded your time, right? <laughs> yeah. What you, you could do is, you could make make your question short and concise. You could have asked, how many of you here have not joined Toastmasters? Or how many of you here are not a Toastmaster yet? Secondly, your eye contact. To persuade with power, you need to have eye contact, proper eye contact with the audience. And I noticed what you did, um, one problem with your eye contact was that you have a slight tendency to keep looking up. And looking up is okay if you want to think, but you look up a lot. So, but um, it shows that the preparation for a speech wasn't enough. What you could do is perhaps you could concentrate on the certain visual points in the audience, like you could look at one person, and you pick someone out and make a point, keeping your eye contact with that person. After you make the point and convey your message across, you move on to another person. So that's all for the two areas for improvement. Lastly, what I'll never forget about her speech is her voice. She used to be very, very soft. I could barely hear her voice sometimes, but now for her P9, I think she improved a lot. That's something I'll never forget, so thank you. <laughs>